Oh, hi. Oh, hi. Oh. <clears throat> We're back. Wake the fuck up. You're about to fight monsters. Oh, my God. I mean, it's amazing. We're going to fight monsters with, like, nothing. With no attributes at all. It's no traits, no attributes. We're just, like, you're I'm going to... get it. You're, <laughs> you're raw dog straight in. bad guys. Uh, like, no condom kind of shit right here. <clears throat> that's not what I was talking about. I don't know. Oh, I thought that's what right there, man. That's going right there, man. Like, got to go to the gutters. Not at all what I was talking about. Uh, More like oh, the groin. <laughs> Raw dogging. Uh, yeah. So, Simon and Leah, you're on a boat. You're not going fast. And what are you doing? So, what did. Leah, yeah, you are okay. muted. Uh, we left. I didn't realize we actually kicked, shoved no, off or anything. I don't think they left. No, you, I said you're not going fast and it was a joke. Oh. You're not moving because oh, I... you're on the boat and it's going fast and. Gotcha. I'm going to give you guys <laughs> a fucking um... adrenaline. Jesus Christ, I cannot carry this for another 30 minutes. <laughs> you um... got to give me something or else we're going to have a cliffhanger real soon. <laughs> what happened up there? Well, I mean, she gave us some information. She, she said the only way we could probably stop Lady Kelly was by finding the two halves of this book that she mentioned and that one of the people that she knows had the book at least a half of it was Grimwald oh did did you guys take when when you finished him off did he have anything on him then no, I don't, but I checked him. I don't remember anything on him, but we didn't exactly thoroughly look through his shop the last time when we when we left. Um, well, where did they say the other half was? She said it was in the hands of a someone who believes themselves a magician, whatever that means. I don't know anybody who that could apply to. Unless maybe she's talking about um, the DuPonts. I don't know. As we did, well, because as we, as, as you know, um, you know, Mr. DuPont was at the ritual site. But if this was a book that could stop Lady Callie, would he have it on him at the ritual site? Because well, you think that... No, probably not. But it might be back at their house. In that one room I couldn't get into last time. Well, what do we do? Where did. It, so you don't know where they went? No. I think our best option is to regroup and then go to Grimwald's place because trying to push our luck here, I mean, just facing one of those creatures almost killed us. I mean, well, it did kill one of us. Technically, so. Um, I don't, I don't think we're equipped enough to, to fight. In any kind of head-on confrontation, at this point. Well, this. I feel like I feel like we accomplished. I feel like all things considered, given what we've learned, in just the last, few hours, I think that what we accomplished was actually, pretty um. Lucky, uh, honestly. Well, the lake is already starting to freeze over. If we don't get going soon, we won't be able to get across it. Or we can always just walk, I guess. Across the ice? Yeah, if we need to. That's dangerous. 
Yeah. Well, yeah, it it's dangerous, but it's <laughs> not as any more dangerous than staying on this island. Mom, do you want to run away? No. I'm wanting to gather the weapons we need to fight. Hmm. Huh. As oh, you guys uh... stand there on the bank and uh, the boat, you see the lighthouse is on. Um, whoever is happens to be looking that direction, you might see some movement on the far bank. It's it's hard to tell. Uh, the door to the lighthouse opens, and then someone goes inside. <laughs> Mariah, are you warmed up some now? I mean, a little bit. Do you think you? And she's like back? jogging in place. You think you can go back with us? Yeah, I'm not staying on the boat by myself. Yeah. So I will. I'm go... taking these blankets. No, you should. Uh, I'm gonna go turn off the boat. So let's go see if we can find them real quick, but. I have a bad... Did you feel weird just a few minutes ago? You mean the ground? Yeah. It felt weird like that before that first creature came after us. Five, four, three, yeah. two, so, anything you're going to do, one, well, zero. All right, you're headed back. All right, <laughs> Lord. <laughs> you guys start heading back. Are you doing so with haste, or are you kind of like, hey guys, it's the end of the world. I guess we'll go back, yeah. Um. Yeah. Well, not haste, but not casual stroll. Either. Don't like, you know the, with the a phrase purpose, haste but not running. I'm sorry. What'd you say, Leah? I said, don't you know the phrase, haste makes waste? All right, so you guys uh, walk back. <laughs> it's easier. You're, you're, you know, you're, you're, you're walking <laughs> back. We're not, we're not running. <laughs> like, right. Like jog? No. Child with us. All right. We're strutting you're back. A, you're strutting I'm back. <laughs> Yeah, like a, a brisk walk. It's not like it's. We're walking you, with purpose, not <clears throat> running. As it will take you about uh, t -t 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 mm, around eight-ish minutes to get to the pool at this pace. All right, Tony and Nord, all alone. Uh. Tony, it seems as though the the braziers responded to you, not Nord. Nord, you have no power here. <laughs> You're invisible. It doesn't know. There it is. <clears throat> e. All right, the action. Oh my God, is on you guys. I I, I say, uh, who's here? Good. All right, so Nord, you're, you're, you're in the doorway. As you've slinked in, it is dark as fuck in here, despite uh, the brazier just having come on. This room goes off far to the left, far to the right, much farther than you might have expected. A good 30 feet in both directions. This is like the top bar of a T, and then the corridor continues on straight. There's another large doorway uh, two two doors or double doors similar but smaller to the one you just came from from the darkness and now with a little bit more of that ambient light you see figures moving especially after Tony announces himself who's here comes the voice at, with, with much more uh, chutzpah than Tony normally had possessed you see those shapes moving. Nord, you seeing them first, uh, you can tell they are wearing the pelts with the antlers and such and having the cudgels. You see four of them as they start moving towards you to bludgeon, not you, but Tony, to death. Two of them run up to you, Tony, running past Nord. Cudgels high, 
as they come down to brain you. Spend cunning. Oh, you spend cunning. Okay. Uh, I... <laughs> because that's what I'm going to do. Uh, having uh, heard my my buddy uh, announce our arrival, I, I'm going to spend cunning and move off to the side and uh, I'm going to throw down a couple of those uh, um, the apprentice powders that I got, Bill. Yep. Uh, at the direction of where these people are. <clears throat> do you remember and then I'm gonna, uh, what what they do? Uh, yeah, I do. They they uh, create a bunch of smoke, and they do one d four plus one damage if they hit. All right. As uh, what do you bid to do this? I will bid um, my uh, pointy end goes there ability. No, I'm going to bid my sleight of hand because I don't want it to come from me. Like, yep. I want it to look like it just comes from, like, the netherworld. Yep. <laughs> As you launch uh, two of these things at the same time at a couple of them or what? Yeah, I'm just going to launch them. I'm going to throw them. I'm going to say, we come from the other side. <laughs> All right, throw down. Threshold is three as, uh, Tony, you see these uh, two glass pellets fly out from seemingly nowhere. Uh, the four acolytes who were rushing you uh, stumble as this potentially happens. Oh, shit. Uh, well, you said I need three successes? Three successes. Damn. No, threshold is three, so you need four oh. to do a clean success. Mm -hmm. Well, I have no more proficiencies, so there, there's that. No, I have one more. I have learning proficiency, um, which I totally could use. Agreed. Uh, but I would like to use um, my... Uh, because I my hide hide ability to activate um, um, my marksman ability. Yep. To give me four successes. All right, four is a clean success. Roll your damage. Remember, you get plus one for the extra success as you launch these things. Tony, uh, are you dropping cunning? Yes. All right, it is your turn then. As you see, well, you don't see Nord do it because he's fucking invisible, but you do see what he tries to do. Throwing these things, they explode in uh, a violent uh, flurry of fire and then billowing smoke and a small explosion. What are you doing, Tony? I take my baton out and I try and hit them. Uh, you hitting one or two or you going Kung Fu Jet Li? What's happening here? I'll go on to, for the nearest one. All right. The one who's nearest to you, you run up and try to brain him with your uh, your baton. What do you bid to do this? And you need to throw down. What'd you get, Nord? Uh, well, uh, on one of them, I got a two, which okay. I couldn't have rolled any lower than that. <laughs> uh, <-huh. laughs> uh, and the other one, I got a uh, uh, it's half a three. That's one. Well, you round up. Doing a D8. <laughs> no, no, D8, no. Three, three it, would be two. Three would be two. Because one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, okay. Yep. So I got a, I got a two and a three. All right. <laughs> two or three, so five. As uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. yeah, as this, the first explosion of glass sends out shards of glass that just pepper the first acolyte uh, all up his front you see his bare chest the blood you see the shards in his cheeks 
and one is in his eye as he's like, Wah! and he runs off to the side and rams into the wall, uh, having taken a shitload of damage. The other dude, uh, the alchemical water that's in it is burning on his back as he's like trying to put it down. He takes his his cloak off the deer and throws it down comically uh, as he's screaming, looking up at you with like foam in his mouth. He is about to bludgeon you as suddenly Tony runs up with a baton. What do you do, Tony? Hit him. Okay, what'd you bid? I'm bidding bureaucratic excellence because these people don't have a visa. <laughs> you are, absolutely. <laughs> as, as you're filled with the rage of patriotism. Uh, go ahead and throw down. <laughs> That's one success. Do you add to it in any way you can? You need... Actually, you need two. Uh, two to go to Limbo, three uh, to actually get a clean success. Because he's already been attacked once. I will use my proficiency. My last one, I believe. No, no I got one more. Uh... To reroll so a die. My, huh? <clears throat> Do it. I will use my learning proficiency. And uh, to give me another success, that brings me up to two. Okay. That's Limbo. Limbo. You got Ninja Gear, you got abilities. I have... Huh. I wonder what I wonder what Vestige of the Godhead does when I'm dead. I don't know. You gonna bid it? Yes. So you're gonna activate it. Uh yes. which which um how many upgrades do you have? One. Un upgrade. Let's consult the book. Page one eighty six. God damn, nice. That said, my book is a little bit different than your guys. <clears throat> but not that different. Vestige of the Godhead. Some shamans, or Tonys, are gifted with the power of presence that can move the hearts of Zens. The merry sound of their speech carries and booms as though an echo of the gods' power courses through their voices. In moments of truth, and when their gods lend them the power, these chosen exhibit the vestige of the Godhead and are even able to speak with beings of power with far greater billions of soul than their own without exploding. This could have helped you earlier. <laughs> yeah. Do so you get I, one I success on top of that? I go up to them and I say, no, Jesus, no visa. <laughs> you get a pip too as you bludgeon this guy seething and foaming at the mouth with your baton. Uh, roll your damage, and you get a plus one on top of it. Uh, the baton. I'm guessing that's what? Uh, a d4 or a d6? Uh, it's probably a medium weapon, so it's a d4 plus one. All right. Light is a d4. Medium is d4 plus one. Heavy is d6 plus one. So yeah, d4 plus one. So d4 plus two. That's a three. All right. Tony, how do you save Nord Skin? First, I whip out my baton. And I run all the way up, uh, all the way up to him. And I, uh, I, I say, no visa, or no Jesus, no visa. What? Just as he says, what? Bam, he gets, he gets it right in the face. As you crack, you hear his jaw break as he his eyes spin in the back of his head. He spins, makes a sound, and collapses unconscious. Simon and Leah. It's a nice day. You know, you're 
you know, it's nighttime, nighttime stroll. Brisk walk. You've made it to the top of the hill as uh, Mariah's jumping up and down beside you, trying to keep warm in all of the blankets that she could muster of carrying. Uh, you move past the, the place where you guys saw Onus and such. Guys bidding or doing anything, or are you just continuing on? Oh, whatever. I'll bid, um... I will bid seasons to, um, you know, go faster. Okay. What are you, <laughs> you're just trying to move faster? Where are you trying to get to? Well, I mean, considering that Nord was talking about the temple thing earlier, mm -hmm. I'd imagine that's where he would have probably gone considering he didn't go back to Simon. So I'm going to head down that way. Are you skipping? Are you walking backwards? Okay, Tell so, me. So actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, funny you mentioned that because as someone who has grown up in the forest, um, actually going down a hill that is covered with brush, uh, skipping is a very good option for not being it for not tripping down a hill. Trust me, trust me. I've done it so many times. It works so much better than trying to walk or run. So Leah frolics down to the sunken <laughs> temple. <clears throat> yeah. Mariah giggling follows her. Uh, Simon, what are you doing? I'm you, following the. So are you skipping too? This way, no. You're not frolicking. <laughs> no. Are you going to bid to get there uh, soon, or are you? Just briskly walking, and you'll get there in a minute. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm just gonna get there in a minute because I'm running out of traits. Oh, I understand. I feel it. I feel it. All right, as uh, Leah, you notice that Simon is lagging behind. Uh, he seems determined but just a little bit out of breath like he can he's conserving his energy bad guys go <clears throat> two of them one for each of you except they can't see nord one says there's another one in here where no there isn't get him as they <laughs> converge on me. you <laughs> they believe you uh you can Make your reaction roll. This would be Braun okay. if you want to block. This would be Grace if you want to get out of the way. Or if you want to do something else to avoid getting bludgeoned. Something else, huh? Yep. The threshold for this is four. Ah. For they are attacking you each. You're, you're getting attacked by two people. Like, are they attacking me immediately? Like, right <laughs> yeah. now? Oh, yeah. They are going to beat you until you're dead. I, uh, oh, that's what they I will, seem like. I will attempt to parry with the baton because, uh, I mean, you can actually, uh, you can actually block with it. Yep, do it. So it'd be Grace or Brawn, it's up to you. Grace or Brawn? Uh, so I, okay, yeah, I got it. I will use Grace. There we the go. The doctor never runs. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Nord, you see them again move directly past you because they can't see you. Uh, attempting to what? murder your friend. One success. Can I react? Uh, how? What would you do? I don't know. Uh, put my foot out and try to trip him. You can aid Tony. Indeed, you can. can I what do you bid? Tony? And give him a, a an aspect die. Uh, I will aid Tony by um, using my <clears throat> dude, my uh, anxious anxiety, which is a trait that I have, uh, to <laughs> stick out my to, <laughs> to stick out my foot and and give him uh, uh, my grace die, which when they're attacking him. You know, they're probably all tripped up. Yep, which and what is the grace die? Eight. Okay, so you get a d8. You get to roll it twice, 
and take the better since Nord is invisible. Uh, it's a much better idea. So Holker, you get a D8. Roll it twice and take the bet. The better. The better? Yeah. Is a three. <laughs> As you trip one, he... <laughs> It trips him, but it actually corrects his gait as he's like, this is perfect. And <laughs> comes down with his cudgel onto Tony's head, cracking it like an egg. As the other one runs up, <laughs> it's their cudgels are like, they're like primitive. It's like wrapped with sinew and it's like a big rock as, as he comes up and hits him directly in the stomach. <laughs> All right, so you got one success. Threshold is four, so that's three. Uh, Drizzle, we roll me yep. a D four. Three. All right, so three and three. So you take <clears throat> six damage to the dome. That said, Tony, you obviously see stars. It obviously hurts as you get cracked directly on the cranium and then cracked directly in like the liver oh. the air comes out of your out of your uh uh your body nord it looks like tony just got killed again but something happens tony again. you take six damage but you actually only take three Ooh. whoa now, if that kills you, I don't know what to do, but. <laughs> that means. That means I save. Take half damage. Like Jesus. Like Jesus. <laughs> it's an old D&D &D joke. You get a narrative point. As uh, Nord, you look up expecting blood and brains. And instead... You just see Tony holding his head, looking really angry at the guy who's looking at his cudgel and back at his, his acolyte buddy and then back at Tony. What, what, what which, witchcraft is this? Player turn yet? Player turn. Uh, I am going to say once again, I'm going to bid pointy and goes there. Uh, and do a cold shot on the back of one of of the guy's heads because this thing uh, is something that Nord does and stick him in the back of his head with his dirgy dirk. The dirgy dirk. All right. Uh, as you bid, go and throw down. And I'm going to say, mm, do it. we are from the other side, you fucking idiots. <laughs> And I'm going to hit him in the freaking head. <clears throat> As that you throw it out. So the threshold uh, to get these guys is one since they've been attacked twice now. That is uh, two successes. All right. So you're up by one. Go ahead and roll damage. Uh, and the dirty jerk is not it's another fucking D4. Everything I do, I just stab people with my little D4s. <laughs> D4s are three, Four. I got four damage, but it was right. a cold shot. Yep, so roll Instead. your chaos die. D6. Um, Hope it's not a one. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's, it'd be bad. It's a two. All right, and now because you did that, roll another D4. This is your extra damage because you hit him in the head. That's six. All right, so total is how much damage? Six? Ten. Ten? Yeah, because I got four. Yeah. No, wait. I got three, so it's nine. Nine. Nine into the back of his skull. All right, well, they, their vitality is uh, six. So how do you murder this guy? Um, well, he doesn't see me, clearly. Nord is pissed off because they're attacking us, and... He, he pretty much just screams, we are from the side, you fucking idiot, and stabs him. So it looks like, I guess, an invisible 
sword that heats up his brain makes his head explode and that's it popcorn so brains <laughs> explode everywhere the other guy seeing this from the other side as he runs <laughs> to the door and bangs on it. I tell him, uh, I immediately say, uh, shut the hell up. What do you bid? I am going to bid, uh, I'm going to bid convinced. This guy having, it's a threshold zero right now. As you bid, he stops, turns around, pisses himself, huddles down in the corner, and shakes. Simon and Leah, you make it to the pool. Leah, you are at the pool, I should say, since Simon did not bid. Simon, you're, you know, you're coming down. (laughs) You're pretty close. Leah, you're at the pool first with Mariah. Um, Oh, the pool is not frozen. It's completely just liquid. Well, I guess we go down. Do they see and the, uh... <laughs> oh, yeah, there's there's this blue uh, liquid in the shape of an arrow pointing toward. Uh, was it towards the sigil? Yeah, well, it's towards the. I guess it was towards the underwater thing where we yeah, went. towards the underwater entrance glowing there as Mariah gets down she's like oh look a sign it's magic yeah uh, look at this magical as she she like gets some of it yeah look. don't don't uh, don't do that it glows I wonder if I can draw on you she starts like drawing on your arm with it no don't um... it smells really bad yeah, maybe you should have smelled it before you started trying to draw with it. Ugh. And, yeah, put it down now, like, please. Washes uh, it in the pool. Anyway, you have glowing uh, uh, Nord piss on your arm. Cool. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Leah will pull out her her pistol, and uh, all right, I guess we uh go down. Wait, they went in the water? I thought you were saying they were coming over to look at the sigil and stuff. Mariah shrugs. Huh, but it is Nord and Tony. They, well, I mean, they were doing that too, but they were talking about something under the water, so. And there's an arrow pointing that way, and I don't imagine Lady Callie would have been so generous as to point us in the right direction. Are you a good swimmer? Uh, I mean, I'm okay. I'm a good swimmer. What happens if we yeah. get down there and there's no air and we just find their bodies? Because, I mean, it's in the bottom of a lake. <laughs> Mariah just sort of looks at you as her eyes get bigger and bigger and bigger. Then I guess we all go down with the ship. Maybe it's not such a good idea, Mom. Well, what do you, you want to do think, then? You actually think they went under there? I don't know. Let me... Let me go down first and you stay here with Mariah. And see if... See what's going on. I don't want uh, you guys jumping into water with nothing down there, but more water. Yeah, but what if you go down there and there's no air and then you're dying and then you're just a floating body too? How would we know? Well, if I don't come back up, don't go in. But what if there's like a room and you like, like someone gets you? How would we know? We can't leave you, Simon. Let me let me scope it out first, and then I'll 
If I see a room, I won't go into it, and I'll come back up and let you know. She looks up at you, Leah. Well, as Bozo the Clown once said, everything floats down here, so... You'll, you'll, I'm sure we'll see you again, even if you, you know, do end up, yeah, floating up here or something. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> we're going to, uh, so you sure you don't want me to go right now with you? Do you, do you think it's I mean, safe how, for Mariah to go? I mean, how am I even supposed to know? Like, what if you get into a fight down there and we're just standing up here twiddling our thumbs? If you think it's safe for you and Mariah to go down with me, then you are her mother. I mean, it's not... I'm not going to claim I think it's safe, but I don't think it's any less safe than what than standing up here because knowing what else in the, you know God's name is out in the forest. I shrug my shoulders and jump into the water. Sploosh. All right, Mariah, since you're shorter, obviously, um, hey, you're going to hold on. Well, I mean, you just are. You'll get bigger eventually, but for now, you're shorter. Then I'm going to swim faster than you. So what I'm going to do is you are going to wrap your arms around my neck and hold your breath as long as you can, and I am going to swim for both of us, okay? Fine. All right. All right, what do you two bid? I bid I bid my flaw, uh, judgy. <laughs> <laughs> as you go down 20 feet. Leo? I bid... Uh, 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 hardened. Similar trek. Are you going to bid Mariah? Yeah, to make sure she's good. As long as you're all good with that. Yeah. You all good? She probably should be bidding or throwing down or something. As Mariah, true to her word, is very good at swimming and holding her breath. As you guys get down to 20 feet, the pressure is very intense. Maybe there's a point, Leah, where you look back just to check on Mariah as she gives you the thumbs up. You make your way into the room with the stairs. The doors are open. The braziers are already on. And you see... A dead guy, his brains splattered uh, like popcorn all over the place. Another one is lying unconscious, his face mangled. Uh, another one is off to the side, and you see Tony walking up to a fourth acolyte huddling in the corner of this room. Nor is, of course, nowhere to be found. Actions on you guys. Um, well, it looks like uh, they've been here. I'm going to move forward to the next room, Tony. Wait, wait. Ah, there he is. No. We okay. got someone here. Well, I'm going to scout ahead and. Uh, uh, Hold you on. Know, you you, Hold you on. ask the guy questions. <laughs> I, you, you, I go ahead and all, scout ahead. All of you are in the same room. <laughs> Just so y'all are aware. Yeah. I tell the I, I tell the acolyte uh why are you here? As you start questioning the acolyte, what are you two doing? Simon and uh um, Leah. So what wait, what's going on? Nord wherever you are, Tony. What? What's what's going on? What's Nor going are you pushing on? or pulling? Oh me? I'm gonna just go. I, I you know, as soon as we finished up in the room, like I'm gonna go ahead because the yeah, last the, the, room that yeah, th this happens that, in in normal time. So as yeah. you're going to the door, they're walking in. Yeah, it's it's fine. Uh, I'm gonna s try finding the next room to go to. Yeah, you're, you see the door. Do you push or pull? Okay. 
Um, I'm. I saw the guy pushing. Right, he was trying to get he into the door. He was banging. He was banging. Banging on it. Yep. Uh, I'm gonna bid. Um, forensics, I guess. Yep. To see if this door is got any magical thing to. And to activate my scent of colors, see if I see anything in the door. As you sit there, concentrating on the sort of ebb and flow, uh, Leah and Simon and Tony, you're right there. I tell the acolyte, oh, he's just sort of gibbering. Who are you trying to get to help you? Why were you banging on the door? Um, uh, I think we should just kill him. He's not going to tell us anything useful. No, 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 no. I was going to get help. I was going to get help. Who's going to help you? From? From the other side. I, I, can, I can open the door for you. You can't open it. As Nord, you see, you sense there is something like a barrier. Uh, it's hard to describe. Something that, that won't allow the lock to move. I say uh, to the acolyte, empty your pockets. Sure, sure, sure. As he starts emptying his pockets. He's got like a knife, you know, wallet. Some keys to a car. Step back. He does. He scoots back. I take the knife and the keys and, and I look at the wallet. All right, you do. I will actually kneel down uh, in front of him and say, Arash Kagal will curse you, you know. Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, looking at it, uh, you see his, norm his name is George Denny. Uh, he's got a driver's license from Detroit. I'm just a guy. I'm just a guy. You think you can call out her name and there will be no consequences when you're working for her enemy? You will be judged and you will wish you had never been born. Uh, he's and your head will out, explode. Man. He's freaking out. Don't make my head explode, Simon. Oh my god. I'm going to pick up. <laughs> well, I'm letting them do their... <laughs> yeah, stop that. Just jump in. <laughs> Look, I'm guys, we need to, to open this door. He's he's no help. Simon, what do you do? I'm going to pick up a uh, cudgel uh, yep. um, from one of the guys, uh, and I'm going to go try and push one. I'll help. Or, well, I don't know Nord's there, but I'm going to go try and push the door. With the cudgel? Yeah, like, like, like well, I'm going to try. I'm going to hold the cudgel because I'm going to use it as a weapon, but I'm going to try to push mm. the door open. Uh because I don't know Nord's trying. Yep. As you get up there, doo -doo -doo, doo -doo -doo. seems like the door is locked. Uh, Perhaps barred I'll... on the other side. It's okay. locked. It's locked, Simon. I'm trying to open it with my mind. This dude says he can open it. I don't believe him. Well, if you can try. open it, have him open it. I mean, he was just pounding on it a second ago. Clearly, he can't open it. It's he's like those guys back in the. He's just he's just like. I don't know, cannon fodder. No, 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 no. I can, I can, I can open it. It just takes a minute. Listen. What are you going to do to open it? How do you open it? It's it's some words and and a little a little ritual thing I have to do. It just takes Here's a little the time. Question. Here's the better question. What's on the yeah, other side of the doors? Um, the rest of the, the temple. Oh. And I'm guessing there are other people in there, aren't there? There are some, yeah. But they're all busy. They're busy doing the sacrifice. They're busy with that, yeah, we that, need this. that detective guy. They, 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 no, they'll never know. Okay. Uh, I will re go over and uh, grab him. Uh, I'm going to go over and grab him by the collar and lift him up. And I'm going to bid bad cop and say, uh, you better get this door open right now. 
uh, if Idaway's on the other side. And like I shove him towards the uh, doors. Uh, Idaway? Who's Idaway? As Same he kind of walks at the door, as he bumps into something that isn't there, uh, he rams into you, Nord. I as you're pushed forward. Way. As it's he, just a locked door. It's not just locked. It's locked with it. Is, it is magic. just a locked door. I looked at it's it. Magic. I didn't see anything. It's not magic. This is not a magic door. I would know it if it was a magic door. This is not a magic door. I got it his card. Uh, see, that what Simon works. just picked the lock or something. It won't work. It's not a magic door. I would know if it's a magic door. There's nothing magic about this door. It's just a regular fucking door. Just pick the lock. I'll look and see if there's a lock. There is a lock. Okay, then I will. Uh... I will bid. You can also throw down. I'm just going to throw down because I'm running out of stuff. Uh... And somebody needs to shut him up for a while. That's two successes. Two successes. <clears throat> Simon, you easily pick the door, pick the lock. You press on the door. It's as though it's been barred on the opposite side. That would be the obvious idea. Like they put down maybe a bar yeah, of some sort. Is there, a, is there a gap between the doors? A little bit. Uh, is it a big enough gap to put something through to try to lift the bar up on the other side? Sure. Okay. Will the cudgel fit in there? No. No. Um, if we have something skinny... Uh, I'm skinny. Well, it's to fit through the door and push the bar up. Oh. Um, I'm Can telling you, it? it's a spell. Oh. It's... Somebody just knock him out. I don't. I don't care. The uh, um, the I, candelabras. Uh, do they? Are they at the bottom? Are are they thin metal, like on a pole? Uh, they're the braziers. Yeah. Uh, you want to drop a narrative point? I'll drop a narrative point to say that they're, like they're, you know, like in the old where it's like the thin metal yep. at the end and it sits in the thing and you can kind of pull it out and use it as a torch. Absolutely. So that's the way they like are. Sconce. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to pull it out and it's small enough that I can fit it through. Sure. Uh, what do you do with the fire? Um, I'll go out. I'll go back and fire. douse it in the water. You do. And then come back in and stick it through the door to try and lift up the thing on the other side. All right. So, here's the deal. It is magically sealed. Uh, Nord, I literally said that. <laughs> oh, I didn't hear. I didn't yeah, hear that. I, 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 I described. I described that you sent the colors to tell that there's something otherworldly and barring it. That oh, said, that's fine. That said, well, there's a lot going on. Yeah. I like this strategy. So. What we're going to do is say there is a magic spell on it, but it's an item that's magically locking it. So can you move that item? Can you disturb it and knock it off? We'll do a throwdown. <clears throat> uh, threshold is two. Remember, you have this sconce, uh, so you could bid that as ninja gear. And you've got uh, some people that can aid you. For example, Nord could aid you. Um, could anyone else... Yes, but I'm going to leave that up to you guys. Threshold is two. Yep. Got and this is the last you. scene. Three? Yes. Oh, no, no. Actually, I have four. Mm. Yeah. All right. So you get I a narrative point. Eight, so. Oh, I'll eat them. Uh, but. <laughs> but. So. <laughs> I will aid him the only way that I know how. What's that? I open the book. Uh-oh. No. 
This is the wrong time, buddy! <laughs> no, you don't open the book. I'm gonna not... I'm gonna stop him. As you start to open the book and unseen hands, close the book! <laughs> Jesus. <clears throat> not tell we there. You got it. Time and place. Time and place. If you just use this stuff <clears throat> willy-nilly, it's gonna be meaningless, Tony. Yeah, but it might knock down the door. Yeah, but Meanwhile, the door is not the big issue. The big issue is the big fucking scary monsters that are coming through a magic porthole that's going to eat everything that we know and love. And you know what? None of them are naturalized citizens. So, like, I take, with that, I take the baton and I has, swing it at the acolyte. All right. Nobody uh, has the passport. What do you bid and roll damage? I bid Detroit. <laughs> yeah so throw down and any successes are damage so the grace and your action die and then tell me those successes and then roll your damage die one success okay and then roll your damage five is that total? Yeah, total. <clears throat> all right, with five, uh, you see, uh, you all see Tony suddenly take two st two quick steps up to the other acolyte and crush his face. As Mariah is helping Simon, Simon, you're wedging this piece and, in. And by the way, the reason the reason I say that. The reason I did that. Oh, we don't care about that. Oh, uh, okay. As you're wedging the piece in, you feel it's almost like magnetic poles or the same, like two positives as there's this repelling as Mariah has like one of her hands on it trying to like stabilize it. She's not really helping. As you <laughs> drink, hear this clunk, 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 and Nord, you feel the barrier drop. <laughs> now, Tony, you can tell them why? Because Nord just you said, said all game. sorts of Nord said all sorts of horrible, horrible stuff that was happening, and so I thought, and I looked at that acolyte and I thought, this this MF is responsible for all of this. So was, Blood pooling onto your shoes. I'll leave him. I mean, at this Door. point, it, it's it's we're. we're I figure we're kind of at that at this point. Yeah, no more jury trials for anyone. Everyone's guilty until proven not an enemy. Help me with this door, you guys! You guys! Oh my God! As you see, Morad trying to push on the door. Yeah, I'm yeah, I'll, I'll help him. Leah, do you help as well? Yeah, I'll help push on the door. As you all open the door, you see beyond. Door. A trapezoid shaped room. So four walls. The far wall across from me is the, the longest. You're at the shortest wall where you are. And then two slanted uh, walls that away. There are two massive cauldrons with gurgling, burbling skulls and blue flame on either side. The floor is a mosaic of marble and swirling patterns that have been obviously written with wax and blood on the marble. The red writ in plain sight. In the middle, as though a hologram, a dimension that you can't quite understand it's not three-dimensional. It folds in on itself and undulates there. Something in between, like moving in between curtains and snaking its way out. A horror. <gasps> and that's where we're going to end. Oh, the humanity. <laughs> Oh, the vulgarity. Lord Almighty. That was a rough one. 
You well, learned a thank whole you guys lot, for playing. <laughs> you learned so much. Indeed. Hey, thanks to the chat for jumping on. Uh, and we had uh, seven, eight, nine people at one time yeah. for this Ooh. very energetic session we had. <laughs> oh, the energy. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's all I got, y'all. Do you want to read, read the very endy part? Yes. As it pops up. Uh, it hasn't popped up yet. Oh, you want me to do you want me to put the indie part up so you can yeah. pop it? So I can Rodney pop it up for you? Enjoyed it. Good. All right. Oh, good. I can do that. Rodney, can... thank you very much for jumping on, man. Thank you. Stupy Jones. Yeah. Harry Buncombe. And several other people that, 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 that jumped on. Yeah, Brian was in oh, there, too. Yeah. Oh, indeed. Brian, hell yeah. Uh, I got a goal. Mm -hmm. You got a goal? Ooh, yeah. what was the goal? Re to read another book. Yeah, what was it a major or minor? Too. Minor. Is the the Red Rit is what we're playing. This is Dreadlore Live Play. Uh, thank you guys for jumping on and checking it out. It's weird. It The thing, the little streaming thing that I have up here doesn't mirror what's going on there. Are you... Um... Mm -hmm looking at my screen share or are you looking the at screen share the... oh huh. thanks to the cast uh andrea ella johnson daniel hulker drizzle ken howl and uh yeah go by all lowercase frozen. letters that's yeah, mr frozen. interrupt yeah you just do uh, it. thanks to the patreon tim roberts daniel hulker nostalgic and uh natalia klein uh you guys are awesome thanks for the support it means a lot a lot a lot a lot uh art media by couchfiremedia.com gotta put those w's in or it just won't work uh twa replay productions brought a story uh and all of the glowing imagery for our minds as well as the Dreadlore core book has been brought to you by Trois Riblay Productions. Any last thoughts before we take a break? Uh, our goals just hit 36. Well, oh, that means everybody advances. I also okay. got a goal, a minor goal too. Oh, good. So Remember, if you get goals. a goal, you get, uh, if it's a minor, it's one XP. You get one pip, you get one cunning and one breath back. If you get a major, you get all your cunning and breath back. You get one pep, two XP, and everyone gets a pep. Did I? Do you feel like it was proven that Nord was invisible to you, Simon? No. Sorry. I did Damn talk it. a lot. I mean, <laughs> we, we were in a little <laughs> tiny room together. I mean, uh, at the very end... We, we were having conversations and you did not see me. Uh, I guess so. Okay, then I did get a minor goal in that case. At the least, you made Simon question it. <laughs> There's so some trickery know. afoot, Simon. Some sort of trickery. You don't know so what it is. 38 is uh, the goal. Or 38 should be the goals, right, Hulker? Yep, 38 with the three of us. All right, remember your major goals. Don't make a en game ending, <laughs> because then you'll never get them. Yeah. Um, what is the what is the group uh, experience and all that stuff that we get? You just got an advancement because it was a group advancement. Oh, it's, so it's just one advancement for yeah, the group. Yeah. Yeah, the group doesn't gift XP. You have to get it yourself. Yeah. My but my minor goal was uh, was to I convince. Have a question. The group to to come follow me back to the lake and I would say you got that. <laughs> oh, so that's I, I have a question. What's up? Uh, was any one of you convinced that the supernatural is now real as a result of seeing me die and rise again? Oh yeah. I mean, Leah wasn't convinced because at that point she'd probably like 
was way beyond being convinced in a sense. Yeah. So. I, I, I'm pretty sure that Nord is convinced that he is on the most epic drug trip of his entire life. He's rolling with it. Because in that case, I might have made a major goal. Does Simon believe? Uh, what was your major goal? You convinced the skeptic screaming. that the supernatural is real. Uh, is, was anyone a skeptic? I'm the only skeptic there is. Yeah. <laughs> Were you convinced that the supernatural is real? I don't know what's going on. Okay. Simon doesn't know what's going on. He's, uh... He's rolling with it right now, but he does... There is a part of him that says Nord was messing around with drugs, making drugs right beside all of us. Um, He is rolling with it, and not questioning it right now, but I don't know if he believes it's a hundred percent real. Fair enough. We're at thirty-eight. Fernando. No, we're at thirty-nine because Nord got one. Oh, okay. Nord got a minor goal. I did indeed. Are we going to do after hours here in a second, or was you guys going to do it? I personally bed. am not either. Who? Yeah, I'm probably gonna go to bed. But all right. Well, um, do you want to do five minutes, or we'll just call it a night? Can you guys hang out for five minutes and talk about your shit? Sure. Yeah, I can probably do no, let's that. Do a, let's do a five minute after hours. Where where were we tonight, guys? Uh, Tony, why did you announce your presence? <laughs> the people in the room. What was it, it like being really... dead? Really? What was it like being dead? Forget about that other stuff. What was it like being dead? Well, it's like I was in D Detroit. You never That's, left. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> no, it was uh, it's great. I mean, I was in coach, by the way. Uh, unfortunately, uh, the uh, the snacks showed up about about an hour in. Uh, it's one of those airport biscotti packages that yeah. they give it to you on the landing sequence. Yeah. Um, anybody else have anything that they wanted to add about the psyche of their character, what they went through tonight? Leah is definitely, um, definitely feeling like she kind of, particularly with how, how that last session ended when we were fighting that, that monstrosity, that was probably... Like the first time that Leah truly felt like they, at least as they are, don't have much of a chance of fighting back. Because like they've kind of, you know, they've kind of made it work all the other times. But that thing was, I mean, obviously like Tony died. You know, so that thing was pretty beyond the pale. So I think Leah's um, realizing she needs more tools in her arsenal, so to speak. I, I think that Nord was convinced that getting on the boat was certain death for everyone. That if we left the island and we decided to run away from what was happening, if we don't close that porthole, um, that these creatures would just come and come and come and it didn't matter anymore. Uh, that's what he realized, I think, at that 
when that creature attacked. What did uh, Leah? How, how did she experience the the goddess or the the them? That but it seems like there was a connection between you and that entity. Um, I think Leah is very sympathetic to her because she kind of. It was a very odd, you know, circum like sequence of events because obviously now knowing that she was a um you know, a a in a sim basically in the same position that Lady Callie is at one point. Uh I think Leah recognizes that she could like in a sense she's kind of quote unquote evil. But it definitely seems like she has realized that she chose the wrong side. And even if that's only because, you know, she got cursed, I feel like Leah trusts that she is on the, you know, quote unquote, good side, at least. Or at the Ooh. very least, that she's someone who would consistently be an ally to us um would simon ever join a group like the blue hand group i mean he he doesn't believe in mysticism he does he thinks he's on a drug trip i guess right now is that correct uh he doesn't know what's going on um uh, 100%. would he ever would he ever no. like on some blue gloves and and like uh, no he wouldn't he doesn't trust them Honestly, he doesn't trust. He doesn't trust a lot of um, organized groups. That's why he's a private detective now. You know, because he was a part of the cops and stuff, and saw that. So he's he would rather work alone. He wouldn't like he'll he'll use them and and work with them but with a group but he won't ever join a group um bill is does mariah believe and if she does believe now where maybe she didn't believe before does that mean that tony got his major goal well mariah being a kid just believes like she she accepts what she sees um so it's it's a different thing like her worldview is not is not actually shaken by this information what shakes it is when she sees stuff that is actually traumatic so seeing a horror bends a human mind bends a mortal's mind seeing death and destruction and violence that that trauma but when it comes to like wait a minute things don't work that way she actually has a lot more resilience than you guys do which is why she doesn't really make those sanity rolls the same the point being she didn't ever not believe but she's not a believer right if someone came up to her and said oh there's nothing in the world that's actually supernatural she'd be like well you're dumb obviously there is right but she didn't like become a believer and and clearly doesn't leah believe now because she took the am amulet from the the goddess no oh, i mean leah i mean in most respects particularly every i mean honestly leah's basically believed in you know in the in, in terms of believe that they've been dealing with supernatural stuff from the beginning i mean you know she 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 wasn't particularly given that um much of the uh, uh, Jewish mysticism deals with very occult y kind of stuff. She would have been at the very least exposed to that. She might not have necessarily always um, believed in it or been that in depth in it, but she would at least have had some understanding of it to where, you know, when she encountered all this stuff that was undeniably supernatural. She was like, oh, okay, I guess, you know, I guess that, that kind of stuff always existed, and I just 
did never encounter it before kind of thing. Hmm. You know, you know what, Tony, uh, I've been thinking about it uh, as Nord. I think that Nord believes now. I don't think he believed before, but I think there's just too much. And he's done a lot of drugs. So I, I would I would be inclined to give that to you. That after fighting the demon from beyond, you know, and and you dying and then coming back, I feel like that, you know, even even and 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 Nord is invisible. Like he's done a lot of drugs in the past. And you know, in the past, and we'll it probably, probably do was... a lot of drugs in the future because of this. Yeah, it would, it, it would, in the past, it was probably he was just hallucinating, you know, colors or shapes or you know, little, little smurf like people. Uh, this is very different experience than than bad trips that that he's experienced in the past. So, I don't know. Sounds like you got your major goal in it. Because <laughs> I literally, Nord did not believe at the beginning, and I think after this island experience, uh, you know, it's it's kind of hard to unsee this stuff. So what that means is, you get two XP. Everyone gets a pip since he got a major goal. Uh, including Tony, you get a pet. Uh, you get all your cunning back and all your breath. Although, remember, your maximum breath is three, not four. And if you are three XP or more, then on the montage, which will be the start of the next session, uh, you can advance. <clears throat> you cash three XP in, and then you advance. That's how that works. We uh, we can only do one advancement for montage, right? No, you can multiple. You can you can do multiple advancements. It just can't oh, okay. be in the same thing. And then oh, okay. when you drop drop the, with pips, when you drop the load, you can get a trait. Correct. Yeah, only a trait. You you can't fold the story into a ninja gear, um, but you can you can gain a trait, which is really powerful because it's your resources. All right, I, yeah. I got a better go because I got to feed the dogs, but Indeed. I will see you guys next Thanks time. I got to go myself. So. Yeah. Yeah. Have a good Bye-bye night. Guys. Oh. Good night. Bye. All right, y'all. Good night. See you guys. Bye. See ya. Bye.